previously on the NoVMP channel. And coming up. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I find you very rude. <laughs> the NoVMP channel is made possible by our gorgeous patrons who, starting soon, get access to season three of NoVMP's Asshole Race. Start the shit show. Oh my god, hi. So, let's all rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine. Give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, no Can eat some fucking snacks. <laughs> Do you remember really that? about that life. You remember that though? No. You had, they would have made you sing that at one point. I don't know that song. Give I mean, I, I, I. God the glory, glory. No, I don't know that one. Anyway, oh, hi there, welcome to this Novimpia presentation. It's been, you know, just an absolute whirlwind of press. Whirlwind? Well, a world in the whirlwind of press regarding the Novimpics, which went down like Sha did after she tried the long jump. Oh, and she's down like a sack of ah! shit. Can't believe she got gold medal, can you? Sack of shit. Yeah, I'm still not entirely sure how that happened. Are you sure about Doping. that? There's, there's been a doping scandal at the manor. Oh, what? <laughs> it's because someone whispered to her before we started that there's like a burger at the other end. And that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> we're here today, we're gonna be, let's try some fucking snacks. We're gonna yes. try some fucking snacks. Yes, uh, we have got a snack box that was sent to us a little while ago, but we have just checked that everything is kind of like still okay and in date, haven't we? Apart from one thing, which was, oh, we won't talk about that because it had like grown a second half. Oh, no. Anyway, um, before we do that though, um, I'm very excited because um, we've had something been sent to us in the PO box. This isn't really a PO box video, but there's this one thing here I really want to open. Okay. Just because I'm really excited about it. So very first off, envelope. let's have a look at this envelope here. And it says on it, no, Olympia, can you see it? Yes. It's like, I've got a golden really ticket in my hand. How does it go? You're very like songful today. I've got a golden ticket. Oh, a pretty card. Oh, right. It's, you know, a long letter. So what do we do? Not read that? <laughs> this is from The Simstress. Yes. I won't read the whole thing, but she has put, P.S. You deserve more followers, which is just lovely. <laughs> What a backhanded compliment to Simstress. Uh, no, but she's put like, hello, beautiful ones. And there's a lovely kind of like, there's, there's literally an essay here. They've painted us a lovely sign for the new house. Um, we're gonna really be exciting. we're gonna be putting this on our mantelpiece, the Simstress. Thank you so much. How um, is that? I need to grab a tissue. Oh. I, here. oh. I thought I could get through it, but I can't. Okay, I'm gonna take off. <laughs> it's been, how long have we been doing this for now? Seven years. Stop it. And she will not bring a tissue with her to set. It's been seven years. That's right, yeah. She will bring a tissue with her. She's still mic'd, so she could be, you know, saying some something really fucking rude, and it's gonna be picked up in the whole gallery. Oi. The whole team can hear her. There's no team. <laughs> Are you back are in you, the room? Are you ready now? Yes. Are you prepared? You come yes. to cabinet, I'm prepared. So this is something hand painted. It says on the back with so much love, the Simstress, AKA Barbara. Barbara. I love the name Barbara. It's such a great name. Babs. June 11th, 2021. You guys can see this before we can. We have not looked at this. <gasps> oh, oh my oh. God. Oh, that's so great. Oh, look, it's both of us. It's the, uh, uh, we're the O's. Do you see it? That's so cute. Oh my God, and you put something to, ha to hang it with or I'm obsessed with that. I am obsessed with a little Bart there I in the corner. absolutely oh, love cute. that. You said that you had to paint it a few times. Maybe you fucked it. But listen, the Simstress, thank you so much because that is so kind and thoughtful of you. And we're going to put that up somewhere. Maybe on the bar. Oh, we should. I know you're gonna. You've got a sign coming, but we should put that. We don't put on one side. Or figure out something. Love it. Thank you so much. Thank um, you so much. That's so beautiful. Texas. No, so no. we received this a little while ago, but we ha we had quite a few like taste testy snack boxes. All don't at say once. testy. Uh. Taste testy. Oh, I just realised what you said. <laughs> you're a prick. And we didn't want to do. Show them off. What? She's not painted her nails. 
No. You're a pig. Because it's for the snacks. You're a fucking pig. But we didn't want to do like every single video was all just us eating. Because we've done what? Vegan, we did some other shit. What did we do? What was we've the other done, one? I feel like we've done loads recently. We did a US one. Well, anyway. Uh, so, we've, yeah, we've paused for a while, but now we're perfectly prepared for snacks. Yes. For snack time. Yes. Fucking snacks. <laughs> what was that like? Rap. Fucking snacks today. We love food. Uh huh. What was that one? Remember this? Remember that? I need to stop. If you'd like to read the letter, I'm going to get the box here. Oh, there's an inventory on the back as well. Hello, Brad Olivia. Hope you two gorgeous ladies are doing well and staying healthy and safe during what some Texans are calling the panorama. I know you just recently opened a box of treats from America, but I wanted to send you more. Specifically treats from the great te- What is happening? <laughs> Really slowly. No, you just knocked everything. No, I didn't. Here we go. Specifically treats from the great state of Texas. If you don't know much about Texas, well, too bad. I won't be taking any questions at this time, lol. Here's what I can tell you. It's very big and very flat. You can drive in any direction for eight to 10 hours and still be in Texas. Being so close to Mexico, we've adopted a lot of Mexican foods into our everyday diet. Everything included in the box is pretty standard stuff found in any Texas grocery store and found in homes across the state. I'm sure you'll hate it. In the South, we have an exclusive chain of gas stations slash convenience stores called Bucky's. They're usually found on the outskirts of major cities. People go nuts for Bucky's, specifically the sugary snacks called Beaver Nuggets. I beg yours. Beaver. Beaver Nuggets. Okay. We're not going to Texas. This is too much. <laughs> I cannot wait to see Olympia's face distort from tasting such strange foods. Follow me on Instagram, xxrobosexualxx. Love you guys, Gabriel. I don't know if it's Gabriel or Gabrielle. The angel Gabriel came down from on high. You've been watching a lot of like biblical stuff. I can hear it and I don't know why. First of all, you don't know shit. Are you like a, a born again Christian? Um, I'll tell you what I am. I'm a person who paints their nails for, for a presentation. I come to set prepared. Wearing nails is just a recipe for disaster, like eating food and opening packets. That's why you should a delicate polish job. No. Job. Makes everything You're sound job dirty, doesn't it? Your job. I'm not. You are. A. M. Job. I'm sorry. The position has been filled. <laughs> What's happening? Caledad corn chips. Open bracket. Dead chips. Made of corn. Post brackets. That is a big bag of corn chips. Wait. I don't understand. They're chips made of... Made of corn? Well, that's just like tortilla chips. Yeah, but Gabriel, do you think that we don't know what a corn chip is? So this is just like, um, It's a Dorito. Yeah. But like, Doritos are like a brand of corn chips. Do you want to know something about Texas? I have American... A massive bag. ...relatives. Don't, you, don't call me that. Oh, I have... They're also really big. ...American relatives, and they're very, very lefties, right? And the, my aunt, Teresa, shout out! She was like, she won't be watching. She was like, oh, I need to drive to, I don't know where the fuck it was, some state. And she was like, I'm gonna have to go this other route. And I said, but that, why don't you just go cut straight through there? And she goes, cause that means going through Texas. And I said, what's wrong with Texas? And she was like, it's full of Texans. Oh my God. And she stared into my soul, Teresa. Teresa's got short curly hair. I'm gonna try one of these. They're underwhelming. Oh, that's rude. They just have much flavor. I feel like they're like meant to be like turned into nachos. I like these. You put a cheese on it, a cheese. A, a cheese. And maybe some salsa. There is this cheese. I don't know what this cheese is called. It comes oh, in a little like string bag and they're covered in red wax. And Baby I, bell. I don't know what it is about this cheese. <sighs> I'm gonna fuck, fuck this cheese. <laughs> I don't even want to be the girl. I, I want to be the guy. I want to fuck this I wanna cheese. Fuck it. We're one for one. You could go down the street and get this. Great. Yeah. Um, <laughs> don't be so ungrateful. Doritos pineapple flavored soda. Ooh, this sounds good. Soda. No one sent us. No drinks one has before, ever sent us a drink before. Is this a soda? Oh, it's no, a salsa. No. Oh. This looks like a soda. I'm surprised you were able to. Send sodas. Yeah, like liquids. What's wrong? With, you can't. Why can't you? Well, because they're dangerous, aren't they? Because the, the post pressure. office. No. What? Yeah. Oh, we need a bottle opener. I'll just use my teeth. 
that. Don't do that. Don't ruin me too. The post. Legs, the, corner. the lady in the post office is a bitch. Right. Just don't get a bottle opener. Don't tell me what to do. Don't ruin your teeth. I, my teeth are strong as an ox. They won't really be after that. I'm going to do it now. No, don't. Very, very Please easy. Don't. Oh no. I can't oh, I can't do it. it. It's too tightly done. Break your teeth. Don't be like the lady in the post office. <laughs> Who's a bitch. She, do you remember how much of a bitch she was? And the other one as well. There was the one with the short hair and the one with the long hair. They're both sick bitches. Right. I don't know if it's because maybe they were like, once upon a time they were nice. But they're sick bitches. I want to try this pineapple soda. It looks like orangina. Don't say gina. Oh, I should do it on camera. Oh, you've got a really weird one. What? It will do the job. I guess. What were you thinking of? The bottle opener. That's the can opener that I didn't even realise had a bottle opener on it. Everything does though, doesn't it? Why well, couldn't be a bartender? It's too difficult. So this is a Jerry Toes pineapple natural flavour soda with real sugar. Sm I can, can you smell the aroma of the pineapple? No. Can you smell that? No. It smells very strong to me. I can't smell it. Doesn't it doesn't smell lovely. Oh. <laughs> you put your entire mouth around that. How are you supposed to drink something? You're such a prissy little femme bitch. <laughs> Does it not just taste like a pineapple Fanta? I think so. Yes. Yeah. All right then, it's no, nice it's though. a bit sweeter. It's not like a syrupy like aftertaste. Oh God, what's that? It's like a film. Like it almost, yeah, almost like tastes it's like- It's probably thick. corn syrup, isn't it? Don't they sweeten shit with corn syrup? What is corn syrup? Syrup made out of those. <laughs> corn on the cob is corn. Yes. So that's just that. What's next? <laughs> Mrs. Renfro's tequila salsa. Yeah, this is it. Oh, get grab the tequila grab the corn. Salsa. Gabriel's really gonna fuck me over with this. I'm gonna be on that toilet Mrs. for hours. Mrs. Renfro's pioneering award-winning homegrown. Who do you think she is? What's her story? Since it's medium. It looks like pasta sauce though. Not again. Not this. I feel sick. Olay! <laughs> Don't like it. <laughs> it's, I can tell that's gonna give me diarrhea. It's very watery, Renfro. She always was quite watery. Check it, it's still a day it is. It's not been opened. That could last for years. Oh, it's very tomato-y. It's very sweet. Very, very mild. It's like ketchup with bits of pepper in it. I don't hate that, but that to me tastes like a pasta sauce. No? Yeah. Well, you can't tell there's tequila in it. Renfro's short change does. It's very tomato-y. I don't think Mrs. Renfro knows her salsa from her lower ass. What's next? We've got Bucky's, oh no. We've got the beaver nugget. Oh, I've seen them. Oh, I didn't think Bucky's would be spelt like that. Presenting Bucky's Just beaver excuse nuggets. excuse me delicately, like, Dabbing my nose. Why do you have to talk about it? Your clammy nose holes. Every single bit. My life. I have allergies. I might as well just climb inside your nose and set up shop. These look like Golden corn nuggets. Pops. What's a corn pop? The same thing. Is everything made of corn in life? Is there anything <laughs> that's not made from corn? It cereal. Was cereal, yeah. Corn and puffs. they were like, no, pops. They looked like cocoa pops, but they were golden and they tasted like golden nuggets. Yeah, but these look like golden nuggets. This is really like oh, yeah, fear factor level stuff. It's a sweet. It's golden nuggets. What the fuck is that? They're even sweeter than golden nuggets. Oh, and they get sweeter as the day goes on. I don't know about these, but I can't stop. I can't stand them. <laughs> They're dreadfully Moorish. Oh my God, you brought a toilet roll. Yeah. I thought you'd brought like some delicate lady tissues. You brought, literally you brought lavatory paper, like a trucker. You're a pig. I'd like to, to put these, to sellotape this up and then put them in like a nice serving dish for our housewarming party. I think that in- Like a bar nice. snack. It seems like a bar snack. No one's uh, ever said that about you. What, too sweet? Yes. Cause I'm just right. No, because you're really fucking salty. Dr. Pepper cotton candy. I think you've already tried the drink, but have you tried the cotton candy? Oh, Gabriel, you're sick in the head. How do you buy a bag of cotton? Why is it so hard? You're a sick bitch. You're a sick... What are you doing now? <laughs> I still got like tickly nose. Feel that. That's not cotton candy. What is that? 
you know what that feels and sounds like? That shit you put, like, wall insulation. Ooh, yeah. why is it hard for? You can't put cotton candy in a, in a foil bag. Gabriel, you're, you're sick. Sick bitch. What does it look like? I don't oh. think it's trapped very well. Oh, you're joking. Oh, that's hilarious. If you think I'm putting that in my mouth. Oh, <gasps> you put the whole thing. It tastes like air freshener. I get it what they're going like for. Blade. And <laughs> is there a weird like cinnamony aftertaste, which Dr. Pepper does not have cinnamon in it. Do you get that? No, it tastes like air freshener. Gabriel. It's definitely cotton candy. Like that is the consistency. Maybe it's been squished down a bit, so it's not quite so fluffy. This is what it looks like. I don't know if we've shown off any of the fucking shit we've been given. Have we shown any of it off? Rip it open. Because this is going straight in the bin. It looks like wall insulation. Is this a piece of your brain? <laughs> That's not very nice, that. Oh no, don't do that. Yeah, look at it. Look at this, look. <laughs> what is that? No, but what is that? No, no, but what is that? No, but, no, but what is that? These are the days of our lives. Oh, it looks like wall insulation. I kind of want to try it that. It does, though. It's the worst consistency you've ever... I'd like to thank you, Gabriel. Cotton candy normally, like when it melts down, you oh, get like the perverse. grit of the sugar and you don't with that. Like, you it's fucking so finely spun. Gabriel, you're a pervert. It's like a, like a, a Dr. Pepper flavoured candle's got in your mouth. Some shit yeah. like that. American food sucks, bumhole. <laughs> Pecan praline. I really like praline. What is that? This one? Oh, it might be the one that I had to throw out. I had to throw that out because it had kind of torn and smushed and it also grew some mould on it. So, I don't know if that was, that must have been in like transit or something. So apologies about, we can't try that, but I'm sure it was delicious. Okay, well these, these are also from Bucky's, butter toffee pecans. What is this Bucky's situation? I don't know. What is a pecan, a nut? Yes, this will be really nice, I think. Pecans are really nice. It's no, like you no, open it. No. All right. Why do they make it so difficult? Why do they have to make it so complicated? You take the biggest serving of each kind. Mm. These smell lovely. No, really good. That's the best thing yet. That's so good. You know what that's like? No, they've got, oh no, oh my God, they've got a meat. You can't have these. <laughs> it's like you, when you get like a cereal that's healthy and they put like something that's a little bit like sweet in there. Well, can't we put, what, why is there water under here? Oh, there isn't. <laughs> you could have these in a bowl with some milk. Imagine that. Really, really Who's good. stopping me from doing that? Why is that funny to you? Gabriel, you're no longer a pair that I find you very sensual. They're a winner. We're not putting these out for the house party. No, they're for us. People can go to hell. They can have the beaver asshole nuggets. That was this, by the way. We're so rude. We don't even show you anything because they, they were real good. Next, we've got chocolate and marshmallow clown head on stick thing. I don't oh, love that. The sound of it. <laughs> Did you hear that? I've got a feeling this is broken. It says on the back of it, Riccolino Paletta Payeso. Okay, the butter toffee pecans are just, they were still with me. Grupo Bimbo. Oh, no. oh well, don't do that, Nova, no. honestly. They... <laughs> what the fuck is that? That's, that's so creepy. Wait, look, it's, like, it's like it's my face. I don't want it to be your face. That's so creepy. Hello. You know what that looks like? The Muffin Man! <laughs> <laughs> Honey <bee. laughs> We're not doing that again! Oh, that's got to have gelatin in it, surely. Once you get a mouthful of Paletta Paeso Grupo Bimbo. It's dirty. What is the point in it? It's just marshmallow and dark chocolate on a massive fucking stick. I quite like it. It's dirty. What know. would you do if you just like... woke up in the middle of the night and I was just there like this? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Why is that? Just the kind of thing you would do. What, freak you out or? Just eat. <laughs> this is Lucas Chamoy seasoning. Mexicans put this on everything. What? Mostly on fruits like melon and mango. It can also be put on the rim of a glass of beer or margarita. So there's one of those- What is it, Lucas? There's that and it's also in mango. What? I don't understand what this is. Oh, it literally just said. Oh, look. 
It's our little friend here. Oh god, it actually gave me like a chill. Why? This is creepy. That might just be tuberculosis. Okay, is so this I've like got sweet or savory. I've got the chamois. Mm. Mine's repugnant. Mine's dirty. It's like tangy, but what? I don't. I'm really. I'm so confused. I quite like that. That tastes like something. It tastes like. It's salty, but it's, it's disgusting, basically. <laughs> Who's putting that on something? Quite like it. I don't understand. It's like salt for fruit. I quite like it. I'm so angry about this. That's really unusual, but I quite like it. Give me this. <laughs> Who seasons fruit, though? What's that? Mexican people, apparently. Well, I'm angry about it. Comes in paste or sauce form. We might have to get like some footage of this afterwards. No, this is sick. I need, to, I need to really sort of think about this. People take that little nipple <laughs> containing salty, it's like salty and sweet, and you put yeah. it on a, like a banana or something. I don't know, I guess. Well, it's perverted. I don't like it. <laughs> That's the next one. Lucas, Lucas Palucas. Palucas literally translates to wig in, oh, what? In English, how that relates to candy, I don't know. But this particular candy is a spicy tamarind flavored jelly. FYI, tamarind is a tropical fruit that looks like a brown, larger than average pea pod. It's used in foods, medicines, and can even polish some metals. I am aware of tamarind, but I didn't know that it looked like that. Okay, so this is literally like a small... Do you just suck on the end like a baby? What is the... A tamarind. Tamarind fruit. What's the name of the fruit? We're not gonna see from that far away. Are we? Yeah, they'll say it. They'll they'll fucking see it. Is it like? Oh, it's like a paste. What are you supposed to do with this, though? It's it's like um, oh, it's revolting. It's like a fruit roll-up. It tastes like like a South African mango fruit roll-up. Are you just supposed to put your put this in your mouth and suck it while I you guess. twist? Suck mommy's finger. Can you put it back in? No. <laughs> it's almost like a like a fruit chutney sort of flavour. If that makes oh sense. Oh my like god! It's, it's fruit chutney. Spicy. It's horrible. Also, like, what? How do you consume it? It just doesn't Shut stick. Shut it in your mouth, I imagine. Well, I'm not doing that. You do it. No. Oh, he's... It's like a weird consistency. Oh, Gabriel, you're a dickhead. It tastes really fruity. That, what? What? No. Yeah. <laughs> it's hot. It's absolutely hideous. But I think it tastes like mango. Who is Lucas and how do I find him? I think that's Lucas. That's obviously supposed to be Sylvester the Duck. No, who's that duck? Donald. No. Daffy. Yes! Who's Donald? The Disney duck. That who's Daffy? White. Daffy's the Looney Tune that's black. Oh, I don't... Oh, I'm... Who the fuck's Sylvester then? That's a cat, isn't it? Yes. No. I don't know. Sylvester is a... Is he not a skunk? No, Sylvester is a cat. He's a black and white cat. Sylvester was the little man with the red hair, with the guns. Uh -uh. Sylvester is a cat. Who was the little guy with the guns? Um... No, Elma. Elma. Thelma. 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 Elma. 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 Elma Fudd. No, he was the bald one. Yeah, with the guns. No, red hair. Oh, with a moustache. Yosemite mm. Sam. Yes. <laughs> I don't want that. So shit. That's so shit. It's really, really weird. Okay. Tacky's hot nuts. I got this just for all the hot nut puns. Be now. <laughs> I reckon this is gonna be really spicy. What does it say flavour wise on it? Tacky's. Chili pepper and lime, artificially flavoured double crunch peanuts. Oh, they very, they very, very that. Keep these away from Charmaine. Oh, they're bright orange. The bright they're orange. Like they're not even super spicy. They're just gross. Really don't like it, calf. Really don't like it, calf. This is. It, it doesn't taste like fresh. It's obviously so dried out. 
and it's like I mean, but it's also like artificial flaky. flavors. Vero mango chili covered mango flavored suckers. Oh my god, that's so fucking cute. Chili pepper. These people just fucking dip everything in chili. What is the point? Chili pepper powder covered mango lollipop. These people are sick. Should we share one? Share it with you. They look dirty. What they the have hell? melted a bit. What's a chili mango? Who's eating this? Is it supposed to be a flame? No, it's supposed to be mango. If you think I'm putting that in my mouth, you're severely missed. I will shove that in my ass before I put it in my mouth. It smells like mango, but it doesn't taste like, it doesn't, it tastes spicy. <laughs> oh God! But it's not even like, it's artificial though, it's like chemicals. It's not even, yeah, it's like, bur it like burns. It doesn't taste like chili, it's like a- Chemicals. Yeah. Well, we'll put these out for the housewarming. <laughs> they're, they're the worst by far. Mango, chili mango. This has got to be good. Come now. Sick. Crunchy peanut butter bars. Like Atkinson's. Get one of those new elk rotaries. Now, is the gag that they're covered in chili? Vegan friendly, cholesterol free, zero trans fats. Dipped in chili powder, dried mangoes, no. artificially flavoured. They're tiny, I thought we were going to get like giant, like, like. That's not a bar. Bars. Especially fruits from the USA. Everything's bigger, that's tiny. It looks like it's a sweet. No. Yeah. No. But Lady in the Tramp. No. You just wanted to share that fucking mango shit. Yeah, not at the same Wrap time. Wrap your gums around that. No. Why not? No. Aren't we laughing? <laughs> Come on, this is nice now. Do you want it? Oh, that's real close, isn't it? Oh. It's like some kind of wood, and then you open it up and you're like, oh, I'm so sorry, you've got wood rot. Oh, that's horrible. They're okay, but again, they're very de like dehydrated, so that you don't expect peanut butter to be so fucking crispy. What does it taste like? Puppy chow. It's it tastes nice. like puppy chow. <laughs> Why, when have you eaten puppy chow? In the States. Why? Because someone offered it to me. What? Puppy chow, it's like a mix of like chocolate and peanut butter. Oh, I thought you were just talking about dog food. That's because you're fucking stupid. Puppy chow sounds like dog food. Oh, why don't you just eat this? I don't want to. De La Rosa. Marzipan peanut candy. Again, I got this just to hear Olympia say marzipan. Marzipan. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's from Texas or if you it's from like. You know what marzipan is made out of. Well, what is a mass? Almonds. Almonds. <laughs> so your, your brown nature. Oh, not this Green again. Nature. I'm not. Stop giving Holly stars a platform. She needs she needs fucking sectioning is what she needs. Listen, I'm gonna ask you something very serious now and it's not gonna be about wet dreams. We were having a conversation about wet dreams. Never had one. <clears throat> Never in my whole life. I feel shortchanged. What do you call that stuff in your nose? Snot. Oh God, like a 10 year old child. You sound like a child. Make her look 10 years younger, don't turn her into a child. Someone's on a fucking Harley Davidson out there. You call it snotch. Yeah. Like a kid. What would you call it? Did my question exactly. What is a grown up way of saying that shit in your nose that you pull out? Snot. That's not scientific. <laughs> Bogies. <laughs> Boogers. All the birds are eating my grass seeds. Are we trying this De La Rosa marzipan? What a precious... I feel like it looks like it should be Turkish Delight. Oh, wait a second. I was thinking it was Turkish Delight. I really like marzipan. <laughs> oh my God! You'll remember the flavour and you'll remember the name. Her Burfling. Oh, it's very crumbly. De La Rosa marzipan. It shouldn't be crumbly. Really crumbly. Why is it... Why? It shouldn't be. Maybe everything dried out because Texas is That's so the most fucking hot. Name. Oh no, I don't like it. It's not so unusual. That's not marzipan. It's like flowery nougat. It's nougat. It's not, because it's like, it gets like powder in your mouth. Peanut candy marzipan style. That's not marzipan. I'm so confused. Sugar, peanut, and artificial flavor. Marzipan is, 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 it's very- I feel like Texas has just taken like stuff from Mexico. And, and just bastardized it. it. You're getting it everywhere. Skip, first of all, we're having a very intellectual conversation and you've just farted. <laughs> Look at that bird. With the birds, Nova, it's nice. It's just big and it's just like waddling about. <sighs> Although you can't see it, you know they are smiling. 
each time someone shows that he cares. <laughs> you, so you can play the song. Feed the birds, 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 you'll fly. Tuppence a bird. Tuppence. I'm done with this. We were so close. <laughs> what a lot of... Very confused. I've been confused from it's the start. It's very confusing. Do you remember this? What's this? What is that? Oh, that is dirty. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I, I was furious at these. I don't mind those. What is this? What are these? <laughs> this looks exactly like that target that Felicity Shagwell shoves in Fat Bastard's asshole. Do you remember? Ooh. By any means necessary. <laughs> this is all the stuff. I mean, we were shitting on the tortilla chips to begin with. But generally speaking, this is stuff that we've like never tried before. Actually, that's like a very good really point. unique things. A lot of people might think, oh, they're being super ungrateful. They're just shitting on everything. But First it's of all, really fun to have stuff that we've never tried before. That's kind of the fun of it is if stuff is gross, then it's like, it's more a more exciting video. It would be a hell of a lot more boring if we sat here and said, oh, that's great. Let's move on. I do think the only takeaway though is this. The, the, the beaver nugs were all right. They were okay. And that, that um, tequila was okay. There's some cat food in here for that which is very kind of you. But also, get this, there's some little goodies down here as well. Look at this. Oh my God, this is animal. <laughs> Isn't it cute? That's amazing. I love it. I'm gonna use this for trick or treating. But there's some, there's some actual like physical bits in here, hang on. That's so sweet. There's some Golden Girls stickers, which is a little bit random. They're real precious. And then there's a couple of pins in here as well. So there's a Creepy Code Nosferatu pin, a Redneck comic book queer pin. Redneck is a vampire comic series that takes place in Texas. That's such a clever name, Redneck. What? It's a vampire series that takes place in Texas. Oh my God, Redneck. Redneck. That's clever. I'm here, I'm queer, I'm fucking immortal. And there's the um, Nosferatu one. Um, Gabriel. That's amazing as well, I love this. Thank you so much for sending us all of this. We had a lovely time, even if, you know, what's happening in your bowels. I don't want to talk about it. It's like the Big Dipper at Alton Towers in mine. It's like, what's that one, Oblivion? Do you remember that movie Oblivion, Tom Cruise? And in the night, you'll hear me call That window is open. And they'll be grateful for it as well. <laughs> They'll be real fucking grateful. Listen, I want to apologise because that, I think I, I came in a bit hard with that. <laughs> Do you know what's so annoying? I thought that was, was going to be a beautiful sound. And I think I, <laughs> I came in a bit hard and fast. We've got some Patron birthdays. Thank you so much, um, Gabriel. Yes, Gorgeous. Thank you so much. Loved all of this. There's been some great takeaways. We have our PO box address in the description below. Should you want to send us some what? Crap. Mm. <laughs> we love um, crap. Love it. Absolutely live for it. Well, clearly. <laughs> Got a few birthdays here. Um, the guys over at the Patron get birthday shout outs. The Simstress, funnily enough, July 24th. Good joke, him. You sent us the lovely Novimpia Manor sign. Have you got it? It was your birthday on the 24th, so happy birthday. Seems wrong that it's her birthday and the We get the present. Us. Yeah, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> but thank you very much. Thank you so much, doll. And also, Maria for July 31st. That's Saturday, so you might be seeing this as it goes out on your birthday. Happy birthday. It's just the two. Oh, happy birthday. Oh, well done, Nova. Jesus Christ, you put the effort in, you put the I work in. I thought there in. were going to be more. Treat, Normally the there's some in. for me to read. Well, I've just done them. Oh, well, that's really rude. Because you were too busy sort of shoving something up your nose. You were shoving stuff up your nose and oh, your ass Really, up. like, full of allergies. But your ass, it's your nose. <laughs> We are really close on the Patron. If you follow the link um, in the description to look at our Patron, you'll see that we are super close mm. to achieving our goal of unlocking season three of Novimpia's Asshole Race. Mm. So if you fancy signing up to the Patron for as little as $1 a month, there's exclusive shit over there, which is if very If you've got exciting. no idea 
what that is, we'll put up a card right now so you can watch the first two seasons. What are you doing? windows open can you shut up <laughs> yeah so the asshole race is um this stupid competition that we do where people submit like toilet brushes and stuff and dress them up and then yeah. we like judge that it's so yeah. fucking stupid but anyway if we hit um the number of patrons over there that we need which is i think it's a thousand isn't it we will do a season three but it will be exclusive to patreon so if you want to see it you've got yeah. a Bing. thanks then cheers social media's here um if you're not Anything subscribed else? if you're not subscribed other, um what's the word items on the agenda. Yeah. I don't give a f about your agenda. Love Kate Nash. Kate Nash. They cancelled Glow. Yeah. All right then. Subscribe if you like. Listen, not fucking forcing, not putting your head in the toilet. What's the phrase? Not putting your hand to God. What is the phrase? I don't know what you're trying to say. I'm really hot and bothered. All right. Oh, yes. All right, bye. And a beaver nugget to our brand new patrons. Masuki Ember, Driven, Jake Scale, Sarah Kaminsky, Adam D, Nikki V, A Fat Slut, Hart Lewis and Chris Wood. Uh, it looks like wall insulation. I kind of want to try it. It does these. though. It does look like wall insulation. You take so much. It's the worst consistency you've ever. I'd like to thank you, Gabriel. Join the Patron, we'll do a shot of Patron.